Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to enter the recovery mode on Samsung Galaxy A26. The first and a very important thing that you need to have is a computer. And it doesn't really matter whether it's Windows or Mac or Linux or a Chromebook, whatever you have, you can use it and you just need to connect it to your uh, phone with a USB-C cable. It doesn't need to have any app that supports your phone. Your phone just needs to detect that it's connected to a computer. So I'm just gonna quickly connect it and let's begin by entering the recovery mode. The recovery mode, uh, in order to enter it, first you need to shut down your phone and um, here also, before we do that, um, <clears throat> I need to tell you that if, if you want to enter recovery mode, two-factor reset your phone, you can watch a video on our channel on how to remove screen lock from this phone, because I think it'll be more relevant since I explain additional details connected with that. But if you want to enter uh, recovery mode for any other reason, then this video is gonna be for you. So, <clears throat> first, shut down your phone. Actually, we're gonna force a restart, so we need to press on power and volume down at the same time. Then, um, just keep on holding until the screen goes off. Once the screen goes off, um, you need to keep on pressing on the power button, don't release it, but quickly move your finger from the volume down to volume up and keep on pressing until you're in the recovery mode. So let's begin by uh, shutting down. I'm just gonna hold until the display goes off. And then I've moved my finger quickly from volume up, uh, volume down to volume up. And now I am in the recovery mode. Here to um, <clears throat> To move between items, you just need to use the volume up or volume down, and it moves just like that. And to approve an item, just click on the power button to just enter that certain thing. So as you can see here, I can um, reboot system, reboot to bootloader, apply update from ADB, apply update from SD card, wipe data or factory set, but as I've said, you can watch a video on, our, on it, which will be more relevant. <coughs> you can also wipe cache partition, mount system and do other stuff. So I'm just gonna reboot system now. I'm not gonna mess, up, mess with the recovery now. You can approve it with the power button and it's done. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.